there. Welcome to Elm Colors. I'm Erica. On today's weekend whip, I am going to be working on a page that I started in my Johanna Basford Weekly Planner. This is the 2023 edition, and I've gotten a good amount of pages done so far. I'm I'm up to date, so that's good news. Um, I do like the pages I've done so far. I think they're pretty cute. I'm going to get this out of the way a little bit so you can see some of the pages. So that's all January, and then the little front cover bit, and then so far, that's what I've done for February, which has been fun. And so this is my last page for February, so I need to work on this today. I'm gonna take a sip of my tea. Okay, so. I have been trying to use one brand of pencil um, on each page. So pencil or supply. So like just last week I used Crayola markers. Um, but like on this one, these were all Brute Fooner pencils. But then I did use a little bit of Distress Ink around the outside. Um, and I think maybe on this one I'm going to use some chalk pastels because I don't really feel like trying to color the background with the Color Ya pencils, which are the ones that I'm going to be using today. I also did start a base with the, um, what is this? <laughs> Crayola markers as well. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm just going to try to um, get some coloring done today. All right, let me grab some colors here. I don't know... I've not colored this page before, and I don't really have any ideas on what I want to do with this. Um, I mean, I know like the apples here will be red, and then I'm going to color that as like cherries, and then the berries. So there'll be lights, reds and pinks and stuff, for sure. But I'm thinking I want to try to do something in the background, so maybe I'll just grab my chalk really quick. happen to have it handy because I'm using it in my color along that is almost done it's almost done all right let's see um I definitely want green around the outside edge and I kind of want that to bleed into the center and then I want like pinks and stuff on the center here so I think uh, yeah, let me just grab a green really quick and a little cotton pad. Okay, so this light green, I'm just going to start down here. And I am going to go over top of some of the leaves and stuff, but I'm going to be... Um, erasing that stuff as I go along or erasing wherever I've kind of gotten over on some of these I'm just gonna color right over the top of it because this is a light enough color that it's not gonna be a big deal see just that easy Okay, I like that. Green's done. This is gonna be a really super soft, subtle background. Okay, and I'm gonna grab this pink. And we're just gonna do some around. So much easier when you start with a base like this it just makes everything go so much faster all right okay and then yeah I think that's all I'm gonna do for the background super simple um, let me grab I'm gonna erase a couple of things really quick just a few and then we'll um, get started with the pencils 
Yeah, okay, so these are my Color Yeah pencils. These ones were actually sent to me by the manufacturer. These are not ones that I purchased myself. These are the Imaginor pencils. I did um, play with them in, on a couple pages when I first got them. I haven't really used them since, so I'm excited to see how they do on this paper. This paper is a, it, a lot, I, I've had some comments about people who really don't like it, but um, I don't mind it. I really don't. I don't know what it is. It's thinner than like her coloring page, um, coloring book pages, but I don't know. I really don't mind it. Okay, so I've got a decent amount of greens here. Uh, I'm just going to start, I'm going to kind of stick in this area. I'm not going to go like to the more bluey greens or anything. I'm going to stick in this area. And yeah, that'll be my greens. And then let's, you know what, let's do a couple flowers. Um, I do have some nice pinks. I think I want to stick with like pinks and reds. Um, I want to go like more Valentine's Day colors. Um, okay, so I've got peony here. Let's do, I'm gonna grab this amaranth. I think that's what it, how you say it. All right, let me sharpen these. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a couple of these with these colors. Um, so hi, <laughs> hi everybody. I hope that you are doing well today. It is Saturday mid-morning for me. I meant to record this yesterday so that I could get it out first thing on Saturday and I just, I just couldn't. <laughs> I am, I'm doing all right. Um, a little less motivated than I was earlier in the week. I got a bunch of pages, a bunch of my um, whips caught up, which I was really happy with. Um, I even finished that page that I started in last weekend's uh, video, which I was kind of surprised about. I wasn't sure that I was going to be able to finish that one, but I did. And um, yeah, it. I got quite a few pages done and I'm almost done with the with another one that I really want to finish. So I'm hoping to be working on that this weekend. Um, I can't believe we're already at the end of February. Like it's, I don't know where this month went. It flew by. Um, yeah, I don't love how fast that went at all. Okay, let's see. All right, I like that, that's cute. Um, yeah, so I'll do both of those in those that color palette. I'll do these little flowers in a different one, these ones in a different one. So I have one, two, three, four, five different types of foot, six flowers, okay. So just do fun combinations of pinks and reds and, um, sorry, what was I talking about? <laughs> It just completely got sidetracked by what I was trying to color. Uh, I don't know. Trying to finish pages, maybe? Uh, yeah, so I was I was really focused on finishing up pages. I'm almost done with my color along. I only have a couple more things to do, but <laughs> one day earlier this week, I when I was super motivated to finish all of my um, whips, I might have colored for too long. Um, and injured my wrist a little bit, so I had to take a break, which I just was like, I was wearing my little, it's like a compression sleeve. I also have a brace too that I wear sometimes, but, um, I was wearing the compression sleeve and my, my youngest was like, what happened? I was like, mm, I have a coloring injury. <laughs> I can't color. Um, so yeah, so I had to take a couple days off. Uh, of coloring this week and that just kind of killed my killed my momentum really like I still feel like I want to color but um I just 
I don't know. It was just, yeah, all the moment, momentum just kind of went went bye-bye. But I'm really close to finishing my color along, and I love the way that it turned out, So, or it's turning out. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to, to keep, keep doing that one. All right, I'm going to do... So we have pink there. I'm going to do these guys pink. Yeah, we're going to do these guys down here pink in the same color palette. Um, and I think I'm going to start with this amaranth first. Yes. The only thing I hate about um, the book is that this, this is in the middle of the, whenever I need to try to get on the sides here, I have to turn my book completely around. So that's what I'm going to have to do right now. Um, it's a little frustrating, but you know, you, you do what you got to do. Um, okay. So let's get, I'm just going to get the this dark color in areas where I know it's going to be dark. These color your pencils are really not bad. They're really not. Um, I use them in, what did I use them in? I know for sure I use them on a, um, a color your book in a color your book, which I've only colored that one. Well, no, maybe I think I did another page in there, but I did not use the color yet pencils again in that one. And I think I've used them on um, a Maria Trolley page, maybe. But yeah, they're working nice on this. Okay. All right, I gotta take another sip of tea. I think I need caffeine today. I think that's what the problem is. I woke up with a crazy headache and it felt kind of like I had a hangover, which doesn't make any sense because I did not, did not drink last night. Um, so that was a little, a little frustrating. That's another reason why I'm a little bit later to record this today. Okay. So I'm going to take a dark color. The only thing I don't love about the color yet is they... Um, they don't hold their points very long. Um, it's not bad, but it's already kind of dulled down when I feel like it should not be quite there yet. So that's a little frustrating. But they blend well. They blend well. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, video-wise, so I had really intended to have that... Um, color along out for you guys this week. So I did not release any other videos this week. Um, I had quite a few come out this month, but yeah, just nothing this week. Um, so I'm hoping that I can get that color along done and um, yeah, and get it, get it out. Um, it'll definitely be before the end of the month. I know the end of the month is like Monday or whatever. Monday, Tuesday, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, it'll it'll definitely be done by then. But I'm hoping that I can work on it today. I have, um, I don't have anything going on today, which is nice. So I am planning on focusing somewhat on the coloring. But I do have some other things around the house that I really need to get working on. Um... We had cards last month for our family card party, and um, I somehow got <laughs> talked into hosting next month, so I have a bunch of stuff that needs to happen around my house right now. Um, I just, I feel like if I could, if I was more social and had like plans for people to come over all the time, my house would be way cleaner, things would be just lovely and uh right now they're not I mean it's not crazy but you know a lot of the things that I've been you know putting off like fixing and things I just it's like glaring to me now like I have to get this fixed I have to I have to paint this wall I have to you know replace this piece of whatever that's fallen off or I, I, it's just a bunch of stuff that you're just you know 
you just kind of overlook. I don't know why we do that. Why? I mean, at, at least I do that where I just kind of accept things that are broken for a while and <laughs> until I can get somebody to fix them. I don't get it. Like, just get it fixed. It doesn't make any sense. Um, it was like I have, like, a couple of... Uh, and I'm not a fixer, so let me just say that. I, I, I have... I am able to do, like, cosmetic things, like, super easy. But anything that involves <laughs> a drill... I'm not good at, and my husband is not either, and so we have to kind of find people who can fix things for us. So, for example, right now, our one of our um, one of the toilets in our house has a, a it's leaking around the bolt that holds the tank to the bottom, and we know what's wrong. We have known it, and it's been broken. I don't know, probably a month now. Uh, we know what's wrong. We know that it wouldn't be too hard to fix, but yet we just don't use that toilet now. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Like, why? Just get it fixed. Um, but now we're going to have to do that because we're going to need it, definitely need a couple of restrooms available for people when they're here. Um, so, yeah. It's just, it's silly. It's just silly. Um, and then, you know, a lot of cosmetic things that I have been wanting to do. So we have, and I've, I've shown it on the channel here before. We have this really just hideously awful, ugly couch uh, in our living room. The one that I, I usually am on when I'm coloring. Um, it's comfortable, super, super comfortable. And that's one of the main reasons why we haven't gotten rid of it because I can overlook the hideousness of it <laughs> uh, for the comfort factor. And so I finally, and it's a reclining couch. So it's like one of those really old, it's like an old lazy boy reclining couch. Uh, and we have the, the love seat as well and they're matching. So I've got two ugly <laughs> couches in my living room. Um but I finally found some slip covers that I think will work. Um, so I ordered those from Amazon and they came the other day and they're like in multiple pieces. So it's going to be like a whole thing to put them together. And I, I know that it needs to be that way because, you know, there's separate pieces of the recliners and everything. But it was just like I, I opened it up and I was like, why is there so many pieces? So I have yet to do it, but I think it's going to look nice once I get it done. I really do. Um, so I've got slip covers for both of those. I have, um, I would love to paint the walls in that room, but it's been, gosh, I don't know how long it's been since I painted that room. It's been a while. Um, but I think it's time for new paint. I just don't know if I want to do that before because I only have till like the middle of March. And there are definitely other things around the house that I want to get done. So we'll see what happens. Okay. All right. Um, let's do the centers of this. I think I'm going to use a yellow. I really like to do yellow in my, my flower centers. Um, Yellows and browns, typically. All right, we'll do that there. And then I think I want like a darker red color. So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab the raspberry and use that to do these little spiky things that are coming out. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be working on the house quite a bit over the next um, few weeks. I might not be able to get quite as much coloring done. Um, but I'm hoping that, I, you know, this little update to the house will, you know, just make me feel a little bit better too. 
there are a few major things that we need to do. So I'm not, I'm trying not to spend a ton of money on like the little cosmetic updates, but I always feel better once I have that, you know, a new paint, a new pillow, a new blanket, and you know, just something to make it feel homey. And I'm not super worried about like the latest trends or anything like that, but I do want it to look nice when people come over. Okay. Those flowers are done. Let's see what else do we have. Um, hmm. Some of these leaves, there's so many different leaves and I didn't want to do them all green, but I did really get out of the lines there, didn't I? Um, yeah, I don't, I wanted to do like this one. I want to do a different color. These ones back here, I wanted to do different colors. Some of these like um, little viney pieces and stuff. I thought about adding like a, I don't know, maybe a purple. Let's try that. Let's just do purple. So I'm going to grab purple iris as soon as I find it. That's this one. Yeah. Um, I'm going to just try to do a few little areas with this color. This probably would have been better to do with like my markers when I had them out. But I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. Um, yeah, so that's, that's really, um, a lot of what's been going on at, at, over here. Just worried about my house, trying to get things updated and trying to, um, recover from the <laughs> the silly amount of coloring that I did. Although I was very happy with what I got done. So I'm not gonna like, I'm not really gonna yell at myself too badly. I just have to remember to take breaks. That's that's what I gotta do. Um, yeah. So last night I had a date with my husband, which was lovely. We don't go on dates very often, um, but he signed up to this, um, it's like an event page, um, and you can subscribe to it for $5 a month, and then each month they send you a variety of event tickets that you can choose from, and you can get like two tickets to an event, and um, it's really been awesome, and this last time, um, last month I think maybe, he got the, the email and it was like this whole range of different things we could go see. And one of them was to go to the symphony. And I was like, I would love to do that. I don't, I mean, I've only seen um, orchestras perform a couple of times and I just, I love it every time. Um, and then last night was a super special one because the um, Ukrainian orchestra from uh Lviv, I think is what it is how you say it. Uh, they were here and it was just amazing. I, I'm just in awe of people who can play music like that. It, it's mind boggling and I love to see it. All right. I'm going to do like this little ferny guy up here. Um, yeah, the, there was um, a piano player did come out too because they, they played a piano something. I don't even remember what the songs were. One of them was by uh, Brahm, I believe. One was not one that I recognized, but I can't remember the composer's name now. I'm not, I'm so bad about that. But um, there were a couple of piano concertos and... I mean, we we were so close. We were only like four rows back from the stage, which was just amazing to see, like, the, the pianist was, 
I mean, I just don't, I don't have words. She played with such passion and, you know, there's, they can't really have sheet music in front of them to play. I mean, I'm sure when they're learning, they have it, but they have it so ingrained in their soul <laughs> that they can just get up there and play. And like I was, it was just amazing. Uh, and then I just, I don't know. I love, I, I was in band in middle school. I'm very frustrated with myself that I didn't continue to do that in high school. But of course I didn't think it was cool. So I decided not to do that. I didn't want to wear my, I didn't want to have to be in a band uniform at the Friday night football games. Ugh. <laughs> so dumb. I just want to go back and smack myself sometimes. I'm just like, but you'll want to know how to play these instruments. Um, but being in the band in middle school, I, it just gave me an appreciate, such an appreciation for, for music. And I love, really, really love, um, listening to classical music. And, um, all right, let me think for a second. Hang on. Okay. We're going to use this one. All right, I'm gonna do some light purple ones as well. I might have to erase. Um, what do I want to? Oh, gosh. All right, let me think about this. So if I do this guy in these light purple tones, that would be all right. I don't want to get too many colors in there, so I'm. I guess I'm just doing pinks and purples and. Um, green. Yeah, so we're just gonna, I'm just gonna go with this. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I love listening to classical music, and I, oh, this one's a weird leaf. I don't like it. <laughs> um, Sorry, focusing on the on the leaf. Yeah, so I just I am I was I loved watching it and um enjoyed every second of it and was just in awe of all of the musicians and their talent and I have now I've decided that I want my husband to buy me like season pass to the to our city's symphony. Like just get just get a just get it cuz i could go and listen to that every week and be perfectly entertained every time like i like um music concerts too but not not the same there's just something about um the orchestra i don't know what it is i don't know the other one that um, we went to not long ago where we had tickets for this from, from the same event thing that he subscribes to, um, was they, it was the, the orchestra was playing the music from the movie Rudy, which if you don't know what that is, it's, it's a movie from the 80s, I think, late 80s, early 90s, something like that. And it's got uh, Sean Astin in it, and he plays this kid who really wants to go to Notre Dame and play football for Notre Dame. And he's just not, he's not smart enough. He's not big enough. He's not, but he finally ends up, you know, getting on the practice squad. And then it ends up that he gets, he gets on the field. And it's based on a real story. Um, so we went to this event, and it was the guy that the movie is actually based on was there and he had like this whole talk that he did and like questions and stuff were asked and it was really interesting. Uh, but then the main event was watching the movie with the orchestra being live and playing the score from the movie live. Um, and it was, it was amazing. Um, Really loved that, and I want to do more events with the symphony for sure. 
I played, um, when I was in middle school, I played, I started out on the bassoon, which is the silliest looking instrument ever. It's just like this long stick, <laughs> long stick. And it's a bass instrument. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. And then we'll do, let's do pink. This, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I don't know if I'm liking the way that I'm doing this right now. Ooh, that pencil got a little scratchy. Um, yeah, so I started out playing bassoon, and I played that for about a year. And then my band teacher asked me to switch over to the baritone. Um, and I did that for the next two years. And I, had, I ended up having like a little, they did a whole song. <laughs> that was um, called the Baritone Boogie. <laughs> so the whole band played and then I had to get up in front of everybody and play like solo bits throughout the, throughout the song. I was so nervous. Like I'm, I remember my body, my entire body just trembling, um, so scared, but um, I did it and it was, it was, I don't know. It wasn't really, it was fun, I guess, but not fun enough to make me keep wanting to play, which makes me grumpy. All right. I'm going to add a little bit of green to the, to this leaf as well. So I'm going to use this soft green and just kind of bring in some green from the edges here. I don't know what I'm doing on this leaf. I don't like it. <laughs> this is not... wanted to do something a little different but now I'm not loving what I did um but yeah I, I really enjoyed all of it and I was I'm still able to like listen and pick out you know what instruments are making what sounds which I, I love when I do that I can do that all right I'm gonna add in a little bit more dark purple so these pencils don't want to layer a whole lot like I'm getting I'm able to put some more color on here but if I were to push hard I would be out of luck man oh man okay so let's see so um, videos next week for sure will be my color along. Um, I'm hoping to have my planner pages recorded. Um, that's a maybe. That's that's a big maybe still. But I know that a lot of people, there are several people out there that like to watch those. But um, sometimes it's just, I don't know it's too hard to film that because I I sit and think for so long so it's a lot of editing out me like going like hemming and hawing over what I really want to add in and sometimes it's just easier to do like hey this is how I set my planner up this month and this is the you know this is what it looks like but I know sometimes people like the to see the process of it as well Oh man, I hate that leaf. I hate it. <laughs> That's not what I meant to use. Darn it. It's gonna be just like, it's just gonna be a leaf. Holy moly. I knew this leaf would be a problem for me. I should have just colored it green. <laughs> I should have just kept all the leaves in greens and just been like, this is just what it is. Let me add a little bit of dark pink to the... Um, yeah, so 
that video is going to definitely come out and then um, next week will be my completed pages uh, video as well so that'll be nice I am going to host a color along again next month I'm gonna try to do it every every couple of months um, next month I so last year I did a myth and magic uh, March and that one is a possibility still uh, I still haven't quite narrowed down what I want to do but I also thought about doing like Clara Markova March because I do not have very many pages colored in her books and I kind of want to get some done so that's another that's another possibility okay now I have to use this purpley combo someplace else um, maybe on some of these longer leaf bits yeah let's do that and then, ugh. Let me do. Yeah, I'm just gonna do some up here. Let me flip this around here. We'll get some of that done. Um. I'm gonna do these ones. Yeah, so, yeah, be on the lookout for multiple videos coming up next week. Again, sorry about not having too many this week, but, you know, wrist injuries and, oh, I probably, <laughs> one of the major reasons I wasn't coloring, I didn't actually tell you guys about this, uh, I, so my aunt, who is, um, She's like my mom. She's like my second mom. Um, she never had any kids, so my brother and I are like her kids, basically. Um, she was getting ready to go to the store and um, was in her garage. And some piece of crap human decided that he was going to try to steal her car. Um, and she's 70 years old. She is, she's got some balance issues. She, um, but she's, she's tough as nails <laughs> lady. Like she, she takes no crap from anybody. She says what she thinks. She's just amazing. Um, so the guy got her out of the car. Um, she was sitting on her garage floor and he, she has a newer car. So she has like her gear shift is like a, it's like a, a dial instead of like an actual gear shift. And, um, I don't think he knew how to drive it. So he wasn't able to get away very fast. And she got the door. <laughs> she, she just got, she was mad. She just got so angry. She said, and she got the door open grabbed onto the the guy and he, he was a she said he was a younger a younger guy um but of course him and the other guy that were with him had on like ski masks or something so um she grabs onto this guy pulls him out of the car and is like screaming at the top of her lungs her garage door's open she has neighbors that can hear you know so i'm sure it was that was freaking the guys out but um, you know, she's just screaming at him, not, you know, you can't take things from people who don't have a lot, you know, I don't have anything. This is the only thing I have, all these different things. She's like, I couldn't even remember what was coming out of my mouth, but she just remembered screaming so loud. And the, um, the guy was finally was just the, there was another guy at the end of her garage that was like, we got to go, we got to go, we got to go. And so finally he, the guy tried to get away and she wouldn't let go of his leg. She couldn't, she couldn't make herself let go. She knew he was trying to get away, but she was just like, you know, frozen in that response that she was just screaming and, 
Ugh, it just gives me chills. Anyway, he... Stupid. I, I really want to say a bad word, but I know that I can't because I'm on YouTube. Um, but he ended up hitting her with his gun a couple of times. I'm so unbelievably thankful that he, that's what he did and he didn't shoot her because... Um, well, yeah, because... Uh, but she had to go to the hospital. She had to get a couple of staples in her head. It, it was just terrifying. She called me because she couldn't, she couldn't get a hold of my mom, who was her normal, like, you know, emergency contact. And so she called me and, uh, the first sentence out of her mouth was, I've just been pistol whipped. And I was like, what? And I, it took me a minute because I didn't, that's not something you're prepared to hear, you know? And I just, it took me a minute to like understand what she was telling me. She's like, yeah, somebody just tried to steal my car. I just got, you know, and I attacked and I was like, oh my, I just freaked out and went over there. She lives like half hour away from us. So it took me a minute to get there, but we ended up, she ended up, she was going to the hospital anyway in an ambulance. Um, but yeah, thankfully there were no, there, nothing was broken. There were no, no internal bleeding, nothing like that. We were just so thankful that she wasn't hurt more than she was. And that the kid basically, you know, at least didn't do anything permanent. Um, but yeah, so I've been, I've been helping her out with stuff and trying to be there for her the best that I can. But like I said, she's a, she's a tough broad. <laughs> she, um, yeah. So that's really what my, my, the beginning of my week was. Cause that happened, I think Sunday. No. Yeah, it was broad daylight when it happened to piece of crap humans. Gosh. I mean, I can't imagine what would drive somebody to that place either. Like what would what kind of circumstances would force you to steal from an old lady? It doesn't make any sense. And they had to know she was alone, too. That's the other thing that, that scares me the most, is that they had to know she was by herself and that nobody else was there with her and that she was vulnerable. Um, but yeah, she fought him off. <laughs> she said, you know, she said, I know that I should have just let him take the car. Like, it's not that big a deal. I have insurance. I could have gotten a new car. But she was just like, I just got so angry and I just was just outraged with the fact that he was trying to do this. And she said, and I just reacted. So, okay. All right. Well, there is some more stuff done, I guess. I mean, I guess that doesn't look as bad now that I have the same kind of color scheme over here. Maybe I should try to darken this up a little bit more. I think I might have too many layers. I don't know. I kind of want to... I don't want it to just, like, stop here either. Um, but, yeah, she's doing okay. She is, um, you know, having a little bit of issues with some anxiety because she does live alone. So I'm trying to check on her as much as I can. And, um, she keeps saying she's doing all right. She's going to talk to somebody. It's like a trauma counselor. And yeah, just crazy, 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 crazy. Okay. So that is it for me today. Um, I have to go and get some stuff done around my house and hopefully I'll be able to get this done before the end of the month. Cause it's, it's my last page for the month. So, so yeah. That is it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I know that I don't color Johanna Bassford on here very often, but um, I might do this a little more often when I'm in the middle of trying to finish these guys up too. 
because these are definitely whips that I will be having throughout the month. Okay. Thank you so much for being here today and for listening to me chat. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.